Hi everyone, day two of Data AI Summit brought major announcements and this announcement, like the announcements from day before will shape market for years. Firstly, there was a really cool event where when Matej Zahara changed the visibility of repo of Unity catalog. So he clicked uh, and changed the permission of a repo to be public. And now anyone can contribute to Unity catalog. And firstly, we need to explore it. And with this openness, uh, I hope that it will bring a lot of community and a lot of contributors to the project. Second, uh, like a major announcement is complete overhaul of the ETL concept. Uh, and when the, sh the, share, uh, the screen was shared, I was, I was really shocked how, how good it is designed. It's generally like low code solution, but the one which generate uh, SQL code uh, and under the hood Delta, li Delta life tables. Uh, of course, uh, it was done by Archon team. So it was one of the major acquisition of Databricks during this year. And also this integration brings a lot of native connectors. Uh, and also uh, that low code solution is concentrated on using change data capture. So everything, uh, like almost everything have to be imported. Uh, incre incrementally and under the hood is using mainly, I understand materials views, but also you can make aggregation and all simple operation using that low code and it will generate SQL code. So uh, it's really important change for market because using that tool, you can ingest data much more easier and also it will be much more optimized uh, because uh, people will start use CDC, people will start a SQL code, which is optimized for Spark. Uh, additionally, uh, related to that new concept of monitoring orchestration was introduced as unified dashboard, which show how much money you spend, data quality and other things. Uh, furthermore, also related to that ETL process, there was screen with new native connectors and there is a lot of, of them and not only databases, but also SaaS platforms, there was on screen, for example, Meta or ServiceNow. Uh, so you can natively ingest from, from many sources now to Databricks. And concept of syncs was introduced. Uh, we community knew about that concept for like one year or two, but finally it, it is going live and Kafka was presented as a sync, but in fact, it will enable to do reverse ETL nicely in Databricks. Uh, another feature, uh, it was re related to Delta share was uh, that you can, it's small improvement, but in fact, a really big gain in functionality because you can Delta share sources from, uh, from Lake House Federation. So you can imagine situation that you want, you want to uh, Delta share, for example, Postgres SQL or Snowflake and you just uh, you could just go to Databricks and create that share without importing data to Databricks. Uh, moreover, uh, really nice feature for business and data governance was introduced, which is metrics. Metrics are well known in uh, in DBT. So in metrics, you define some in it's not ETL process. You just uh, define some uh, <coughs> some metrics about your company, like for example, KPIs, and then you can use uh, get metrics in code to get <coughs> this metrics. And lastly, uh, Delta Lake for all and Spark for all was a bit presented. Most of enhancements are well known uh, to community already because it was open source. Uh, it is open source project. But uh, for example, variant uh, data type was presented, which will make ingestion of JSON much, uh, much more easier. Uh, thank you for watching it. It was uh, really great to watch that event. And I think now after these two days, we will have a lot of cool things to explore. Thank you and see you in the next video.